one more time, you are going to memorize as many of the objects on the screen as possible. No cheating. Do not write anything down during this time that you are looking. But I think maybe she's keeping the amount of insecticide products off the shelf, like less of them on the off the shelf. Um, to also expand my knowledge and come up with uh, hypotheses and areas that there were no solutions for and how do I develop a drug. My idea was to develop a drug to kill cancer. Instead, I ended up in... Move the sequences, what it binds to, uh, what protein it produces, and figure out exactly what it's doing. So there's a number of different approaches, but we really want to understand the function. Um, is it responsible for, let's say, cell division? So we're supposing that we have a box of red marbles, two black ones. We select uh, two marbles. So what is the probability that the second marble is red? We're calculating the probability of D intersecting. All right, so our Bayes theorem, which we want to talk about, um, is essentially it's the conditional um, probability. Like uh, round it, so maybe to two decimal places. Does that make sense? program was first held in the math class. We had to do a lot of hands-on work with M&Ms and probability. Second, I liked how we, at the end of each class, we reviewed what we learned and said what really stuck out to us. And third, I loved how we were able to do group work and be interactive with it. I've had a wonderful time with the ALA Du Bois program. It's been a wonderful experience overall. I love how the program showed that much of the stuff we learn now can be like built on top of each other to more advanced stuff that's used in jobs today. This is where we started talking about neural nets, right? And, and being able to mimic what our brain does with its neural net but sometimes we don't know how to do that. Well, today we're going to be using Jupyter Notebook. Make sure you're not going into Jupyter Lab, which is a whole other thing, but it it's is going to very ignore weird. this. This is for humans. This is for the machine. A, um, an example of something that has narrow AI. Would Alexa be an example? Alexa is a perfect example, yes. It's very good at mimicking uh, you know, human interaction, it can tell you about the weather, it can do all of these great things, but it's very specific if you ask. I was learning how to code in Python and creating different uh, builds like chat boxes or a handwriting recognition tool. The LA program taught me to cross fundamental AI concepts in just three weeks. I enjoyed working in the artificial intelligence track with the clear lessons given by Professor McCullough, the many group discussions that were held, and the sessions where we give code and test our programs. So we learned a lot about artificial intelligence and how it affects the world now and how it's related to the world now, including like things like Siri and Alexa and stuff like that. Including um, Python specifically, I went from knowing little to nothing and being scared that I would fail to knowing how to code a simple chatbot with the help of my professor. And In order to image heart tissues such as bones and uh, more dense bones and teeth, with MRI it's for soft tissues, so different organs in the body. And I mentioned something called functional MRI, which is used to the brain in order to understand different um, parts of the brain. materials are we going to use? Some people chose gold nanoparticles, but then we created another problem. Gold is toxic to the body, so we cannot put it. Some others thought about, okay, 
lipid nanoparticles. Excellent, the lipid is a part of the body, so it might be biodegradable. And the body I was able to learn a lot of different things in the bioengineering track. I learned things such as new ways that doctors and scientists are working together to help people live longer, even if they have a medical issue. Right, so we're looking at a bit of blood and what this component right here is this bigger, more abnormal shaped structure. This is an example of a white blood cell. So this would be something that we would call a leukocyte. The white blood cell can actually recognize proteins released by the bacteria and they can trace, they can follow that to the actual bacteria. And you're going to watch, it's going to catch up with this. Always different types of exceptions. And so just like looked at the separation of the chromosome is a normal process where we have two anchors pulling the chromosomes apart. The main commonality, however, is all of the mutations and defective proteins affect the energy producing functions of the mitochondria. I was able to grasp a lot of information from my instructor, Dr. A. He provided a great deal of information that I was able to comprehend. Dr. Arnon, I really enjoyed the medical science track. Um, but just study the best you can, do the best you can, and never feel that how you perform um, is an indication of who you are as a person. One thing that I enjoyed learning about was the many technological advancements made in the medical field through biotechnology. We discussed multiple facets that are involved in healthcare, not just the STEM and scientific aspects, which are obviously extremely important. We also discussed gender bias and racial, and what racial minorities have to go through. ALA taught me the importance of teamwork and learning and how valuable it is to work with people who share the same love for STEM that I do collaborating with other ALA scholars because together we were able to form and share opinions in order to come up with new plans on how the world and people around us can help their communities to help stop the spread of certain diseases such as COVID-19. Three things I like about the ALA program is being able to discover a new interest in an interesting topic, being able to learn about new topics that may be useful in the future, and being able to establish a well-rounded relationship with others in the program. It's helped me fine-tune my career goals by teaching me and giving me in-depth knowledge of the career path I want to go on. My biggest takeaway from the program is about the new inventions that are being made and their use. The Accelerated Learning Academy has helped me build my confidence to pursue a career in STEM. And that helps build different collaborative skills with other people. The second thing I like is my instructors and guest speakers. Has provided me an opportunity to work with other gifted scholars. They allowed us to learn on our own and um, help us explore other things that we, you know, liked about the STEM program. It was the applied mathematics track, which fit my curiosities perfectly because I wanted to pursue a math related career. I learned about basic and advanced probability, which is useful because probability is like everywhere in jobs. I like about the ALA program is that it's insightful and gives you quite a bit of knowledge. It's convenient. And they try and help out their students as much as they can while still being a fairly short program. The Academy has built my confidence by teaching me the importance of asking questions. I learned it's okay to be confused or not always understand what I'm doing. But through this process, I became more comfortable with being unsure with myself and asking questions to learn new things. Words that capture this program are exciting, collaboration, skill set, and achievement. Four words that I really think encompass the Du Bois program are compassion, teamwork, experimentation, and kindness. I'd like to say thank you to Du Bois Institute, Mrs. Yuzel, Dr. Ellis, Dr. Boone, my parents, Dr. Rashid, Ms. Watson, Ms. Aponte, Mr. White, and Mr. London. Thank you. Finally, I would like to thank Du Bois Institute, Ms. Watson, Dr. Ellis, and my parents for provi providing me with this wonderful again experience. next year. Once more, thank you so much to Laura Uzel, Mr. Ellis, Dr. Boone, Dr. Arne, Dr. Spangler, Dr. Rashid, Ms. Watson, Ms. Aponte, Mr. White, and Mr. London and everyone else at the WEB Du Bois program.
thank you Johnson and Johnson and Verizon for being able to give us this amazing opportunity.